What's up geeks and gamers, Lethal Lightning here, and I'm back with a video, and this one we're going to be talking about uh, the creator of Black Lightning saying some rather interesting comments about Batman. So Black Lightning creator says that Batman is toxic and ruins DC Comics. What a bizarre statement to make. <laughs> But I've seen a few people talking about this, and this is something that I've wanted to weigh in for a little bit. So let's go through it and uh, see what all this is about. So Batman is one of the most popular characters in comics. Fully agree with that. One DC Comics creator has some complicated feelings about the Cape Crusader, though. Tony Isabella, the man known for bringing Black Lightning to the DC Universe, it's no secret that Batman is a huge part of DC's lineup, and efforts like Matt Reeves' upcoming The Batman with Robert Pattinson will do little to change that. He's been a huge staple in pop culture for a while now due to the numerous films, cartoons, references to the whole character in other mediums. It's like you can't get away from this guy. With Frank the Batman there. But even though all of this is positive for the company, uh, Isabella argues that this is a major downside. So, the creator wrote on Facebook, creator of Black Lightning, Here's a tip. Don't ask me to join groups or visit pages that have Batman in their titles. He was one of my favourite comic heroes. Now I consider him one of the most toxic and is the ruining of DC Comics, DC hurts their other characters by making Batman the center of their universe. Okay. Okay, so first things first, this seems like a follow-up to a rant he had a few months ago, which I talked about on my channel. Uh, it's gone on about the ongoing um, Batman and the Outsiders series that's going on at the moment, which personally I'm enjoying. I, I love Dexter Soy's interior art. I think it's just gorgeous. But he seemed to have a problem with this particular book, this title, because he feels that Black Lightning is like a, almost like a, a, a runaround for Batman, he just exists to do Batman stuff that he can't be bothered, which is entirely false. If you read Batman and the Outsiders, you'll know that's not the case at all. It, it, it couldn't be any further from the truth. So I feel this is just a follow-up to that, but to say that Batman is the center of DC Comics, well, duh. <laughs> I mean, DC Comics, Detective Comics. There is a series called Detective Comics within Detective Comics that focuses on Batman, who is the world's greatest detective. So I feel that's a bit of a no-brainer there, personally. To me, this just comes across as salty. A little bit of salt. Now, I can fully understand, you know, you created a character. You want to see uh, this character receive the best treatment possible. You want to see this character developed, explored in different ways, unique ways, and just, you know, pushed to a larger audience, which is totally cool. I totally get that. But to say that Batman is ruining your character is just absurd. Now, I can totally understand if you feel that Batman is making your character uh, feel less important. But let me tell you something. You take 9 out of 10 characters from any franchise, not just DC, any franchise, whatever it may be, you put them next to Batman, I can almost guarantee that 9 out of 10 characters will look uh, significantly less important once standing next to Batman. Batman transcends every brand, you know, Batman is the bomb, you know, everyone knows who Batman is. He's had all these movies, all these comics, like, like the article says, you know, Batman is a staple of pop culture and has been for, <laughs> since, since 1939, 1940, like, this is nothing new. Now, I can understand if he thinks that there's too much Batman, because I totally agree with that. There's too many uh, Batman-related stories in DC Comics at the moment. I get that. And he does completely overshadow every character that's there. So a lot of characters like Black Lightning don't get the chance to get the exposure they deserve. And this is something that's going on, especially a lot with the DC animated movies these days. It always just seems to revolve around Batman. Because Batman sells. I mean, it's as simple as that. So I agree that there is too much Batman, but to say that Batman's ruining DC Comics is just absurd. Absolutely absurd. And calling him toxic? Like, what exactly makes Batman toxic? <laughs> You're going to have to explain that one to me. I really, really don't see what's going on with this one. But uh, this one really did pique my interest because we have someone in DC Comics talking bad about the main DC Comics character. Now, yeah, you could argue that Superman is the main character. I personally feel it's slightly Batman, but you could argue either one. They go back and forth with each other, but... Uh, Tony, creator of Black Lightning, this seems really, really salty to me, and I have a feeling he's going to follow this up, because he did, this is a follow-up to what he said a few months ago, but I can expect that he'll be um, following up on this one within a few weeks, because this one seems to have attracted a lot of attention, and, and rightfully so. 
Like, the Batman The Outsider series is good. I don't think he's even read it, to be honest, but that's neither here nor there. But what do you guys think of all this? Drop your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you think Batman is toxic, or do you think Batman is ruining DC Comics? Let me know what you think about all this. Leave a big thumbs up on this video to show your support. Subscribe to Geeks and Gamers. Share it around. All that good stuff. I'm Lethal Lightning. I want you all to have a fantastic day, and I'll see you on the next video. Uru. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.